Thank you for joining us with Let's Play with Zori. We're continuing on with our uh, Living World Season 3 Blood and Stone. Now we're going to have to do a uh, reconnaissance of what happened here in Bloodstone Fen. Talked with uh, General Soulkeeper. What do you suppose okay. came of the explosion? Now first we're just going to fly around and hit these little uh, waypoints. So far, so good. Just we whiplash right, and some lag. Oof. Ah, members of the pact. Bloodstones! Snitch your throat! Commander, Commander, are you still alive? They've been consumed by bloodstone magic. They deserve a better fate. I know it's around here somewhere. There we are. There's a treasure mushroom. I might as well whack one off here. I really don't fight back, so there's a chance upon killing them that you'll get a rare item called Invisible Shoes. The only way to get them is through the treasure mushrooms. Basically, it hides the uh, shoes on your character. Come on.
keep moving. Kind of helps if you have parts from the heart of the to navigate the area. You can go up to these light line directions. Careful because there's much of energy that can shoot you out of the sky. And you're gonna have a hard time. Yeah, there's a lot of travel for this one. So much clutter too, so much visual noise. Official victim of the white mantle. My ancestors fought for those evil bastards. That's. 
tried to exterminate my ancestors, torture their own people as well. These spirits were twisted by what they went through. Perhaps. But this seems kind of lackluster. The white mantle were complete genocidal maniacs. Seems kind of lackluster just to leave it at that. To be honest, I guess our characters in number one wasn't weren't exactly saints either. White mantle, but they're different. The magic. See what they know about them? Sure thing, Commander. Have you seen Kanak? Who? Who? <laughs> He's a Silvari. Tough, but well spoken. Medium build, a bit cranky. Can't say that I have. But I did see Kaith run through here like a centaur on fire. She wouldn't stop for anything. Just hauled tail through the war zone and was gone like that. Thank you. I'll let the general know you're down here. Glad you made it, Commander. I thought the blast took you out. What happened in the Forsaken Thicket? Tell me what happened to your squad. Our platoon was on recon. We found something at the north edge of Verdant Brink, so we pitched camp. The plan was to scout the area at dawn, so we turned in for the night. Then everything went to torment in a town car. There was an explosion in the creek. I grabbed my gear and ran out of the tent. State bonfire. Sabatha and her lackey torched everything, laughing as they went. And then, blackness. I woke up with a splitting headache, caged like a dog. Kept my mouth shut, just watched them. After a few days, I told them I was ready to talk, so I'd cooperate in exchange for the safety of my troops. I told them they could use me for hard labor. Experimentation didn't matter. My face was red. I was taken deeper inside, thrown in a pen with some others. They deprived us of food and water. Let their dogs snarl at our cages. At night, we heard the other prisoners begging for their lives before we cut open. The sky would light up and I would hear chanting. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? After I was rescued, I notified the Queen about Salvation Pass. Then I regrouped with my squad and chased some white mantle here. So you're here for the blast? Craziest thing. It exploded, then imploded. Like when you're a kid and you dangle something from your mouth, then something is. Sure, me neither. But, you know, me. 
when the explosion burst, it was like it pulled at my soul. I closed my eyes, stand still, inside my head, inside me. How have you been since Salvation Pass? How have you been since Salvation Pass? I've been thanking Gwena that the rescue team found me in time. Not for them. I'd be rotting in a ditch. I closed my eyes at night. I still hear the screams. Men and women. They spared no one. I lost count. Anyway, I made my way back to Falgear's camp and rejoined the squad. Saw the field medic and got checked out. Then we sent word to Queen Jenna about everything. Gave her and the Shining Blade as much information as we could. The Pact offered to put me on leave, but I turned it down. No way I'm giving these murderers a break. So we pursued a lead on White Mantle movement and tracked the pigs up here. Look what they've done to the place. It's shameful. I couldn't do anything for them. The blast rotted their core. Unlike anything I've ever seen, any attempt at reversing the damage was futile. She's Nothing stable. helped, well, just a little? Stable, Nothing. They're gone, Commander. Shells are their former selves, driven by an unquenchable thirst for more power. It pains me to say, but I fear the only treatment is death. Was Morica hit with the blast? She doesn't seem enraged like the others. No, she is outside the blast with the rest of us. Whatever she was struck with was different. She is still herself, but suffering so much. She called for treatment, as it were. I hope you're able to help her. Thanks for the info. Okay, let's go back and talk with uh, Atmora. Medic, keep up the good work. Alright. Is it as bad as it looks down there? Worse. It's not good. White Mantle hid in the blast are mad with hunger for magical energy. They gather and scrap they can find. Are we sure they want The White Mantle? Could they have done this? And to what end? I don't know. Maybe it was an experiment gone wrong. Maybe it was supposed to empower all of them, and it went awry. Whoever it was, we owe them our gratitude. That blast would have hit Lion's Arch, and they just rebuilt the place. I'd hold off on the thanks until we know what their motive is. There's a packed squad down there. They've already established a camp and are trying to get a foothold in the area. That's what I'd like to hear. Well, it's not all good news. Some other Pact members were also caught in the blast. Just what the Pact didn't need. More dead soldiers. They're not dead. But they've been twisted by bloodstone magic, just like the White Mantle. They don't deserve that. They deserve peace. I understand. I'd want the same if the roles were reversed. Thank you, Commander. Captain, are we sure there won't be another explosion? Continue. Learn more about the white mental activity in the area. Move to the bow of the ship for a better reception to receive Tammy's message. Alright. It's really the snatching up bloodstone shards. Hmm. Then they have to have a way to harvest the magic inside. And I wonder how. I'll track down where they're taking the shards for harvest and see what they're using. Commander, over. Did 
Me come around. Huh. It's okay. Communicator protocol takes a little getting used to. Tiny out. Ow. Okay, that we got a couple seekers. We gotta kill them to bust the shield. Not sure how I succeeded exactly, but okay. I completed it, but okay, this is a little unusual. Come on. Jeez, that was a pain in the ass. Alright. Journey to the bottom of the Bloodstone Mall and investigate the cause of the blast.
Yes. Bennett, any update on the creature that hospitalized your scout? We finally got a message from Priory Headquarters. Hard to get a pigeon to fly through a magical storm in one piece. The description of these stone men matched an ancient weapon the Mersat and White Mantle used before the Crichton Civil War. They're called Jade Constructs. They were the Mersat's primary martial units. Floating Constructs. That sounds similar to the Exalted. That's because they're using ancient magic from a similar origin. Or at least that's my current theory, Booba. <laughs> Did your backpack just call you Puba, Commander? It's a long story. Go on, Tiny. There was a time way back when the Sears and the Mersat shared a lot of info. Do you think they're all so bloody? So is there anything to keep me alive in a fight against these great things? Remember that magical protection I told you about? That should work again. Too. It was based on seer research that Zim, the founder of Anovas, performed during the Crichton Civil War. I highly suggest mastering it before you get in a smashy scenario with one of those jade roots. Good luck! Tie me out! Okay. I already have the, uh, open on the story. Shadows deed. Dun dun dun. Ah, oh, pardon me. It looks like there are magical scorch marks leading this way. Anyone It's me, Commander. Kate, Bennett said he saw you. Are you? Trying to figure out why the explosion reversed itself and the trail led me here. Look at these marks. Could these have been made by a torrent of magic? Possibly. You think something or someone was behind this? Or was it a natural disaster? Seems like an awfully odd natural disaster. You saw what happened, right? I've recently learned to not always rely on my senses. They can betray you. This pedestal seems to be the nexus of it all. Let's look around and see if... Trevor!
this would give us an insight on why the world has reversed itself. Only enemy that the weapons must have been moving like a shot. Yeah, where I was going with that. That's what I did. All right, those glowy weapons were this one eye of the north that they showed up. They just become kind of stable throughout the game. So Bloodstone begins next to this staircase. I guess this is how someone will get under the whatever it is she just hopefully reveals. Hmm. I guess I really wanted it to be a natural disaster. Death. Ailing, but recovering, although not well enough to give me the guidance I need. Sorry to hear that. It's... Back to the task at hand. Those explosions expose some more bloodstone. Seems barely touched by the destruction. It looks as if someone was taking notes during a conversation or translating a coded message. Trial 33 complete failure. Received orders to increase output. Results demanded to or or what? Or else. The rumbling of dissent in our ranks is unacceptable for our research progress. The two different directions. Into this new shaky influence behind the curtain. Just who? Just. Just dear. Just. Just sit here. Getting the orders from the way. My loyalty is a liability here now. Maybe I should flee the, before the rift becomes inescapable. I hate to leave my white mantle brothers and sisters, but I will not follow someone who won't reveal themselves while issuing threats so liberally. It's a note. Must have survived in this chest. What's it say? It was the white mantle, all right. Apparently, they've been prodding the bloodstone for some time now. But it also hints at some sort of splintering within their group and a divisive leader. It must be Codicus. The legged minister? by divinity's reach more often.
didn't. And now that's in the past. All I can do is hope you'll forgive me in the future. Please. You don't have trouble now. I want you to think about it. The decision is it. Okay. releasing their men. Then what? Then we cross our fingers that we jumpstart the magic and blow ourselves to the rules. Ordered us to find you. Dennis Paticus is in the area. He's alive. I need to tell him about what we just witnessed. Point me in the right direction. Uh, Kate? Kate? What? I think I'll stay a moment. Maybe poke around. Are you sure? Will you be okay? It's fine, Commander. Remember? I'm a shadow. we could let's play with Zori. I do appreciate you joining us. Have a wonderful week.